Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry. This is actually, I think it's an interesting case for a lot of reasons. We have a young patient who has presented to our office with uh, with a seated uh, with a seated corn to the bottom of the right foot. He has a history of in the past we've treated him uh, for plantar warts. So the first thing that that he thought about was, I think I have another wart, let me go see Dr. Wagner. So he's here today and, you know, he doesn't have a wart. He has an IPK, an intractable porokeratosis, also known as a seated corn. Now in the world of uh, how we treat these IPKs, something that, believe it or not, just like wart, something that has been very, very uh, efficacious is using Dun, 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 the beetle juice, the cantharone. So we use cantharone also for seeded corns. Why? As we all know, cantharone, the beetle juice, is an is an acid. It's a powerful acid, and basically, what what has or what is the reason why we use the cantharone with the warts? We know why, right? Uh, but why the seeded corn? The the acid basically eats away and it softens everything, right? It eats, it eats, it eats, even whether it's good skin or or bad skin, right? The bad, I mean the virus, the good, the callous tissue. The canthrone doesn't know the difference if it's virus or not, and it really doesn't care. What it does it basically eats away everything good or bad so today we're gonna move forward with and it usually takes maybe one you know one application tops two applications he's gonna come back in two weeks and we'll probably just reassess um, even though this is a, a structural issue we have seen right we have seen these little lesions just basically disappear after you know one or two applications of the cantharone. Could it be an Ekrin paroma? I'm going to repeat that. Ekrin paroma, a clogged sweat gland? It could be. We've seen that in the past before and and again is it a porokeratosis seeded corn or is it an Ekrin paroma? They basically look you know basically alike but it doesn't matter. Even for the Ekrin paroma we also use it. We use cantharone to treat it. So, you know, again, um, we're just going to finish the the little debris Okay. So as everyone can see, right, we're just enucleating the rest. You know, the, the green flag, so to speak, is he came in and he said, listen, I kind of trimmed it. It felt better. So when patients come in and they say that, they, they, they remove the quote-unquote top cover of the callus or the corn, the pebble. Everyone can see there, there's still that little core. And once they remove that, it feels better. But what we want to do is just try to get to this level here. You okay, patient? Super, thumbs up. And we'll try to go a little bit deeper if we can, and then we'll apply the canthro and the beetle juice. This is a young patient. How old are you again? 30? 33. 33. Young patient. Even young patients get these, right? But I don't blame him for for believing or thinking for a split second that it might have been a wart. Because anytime that patients um and in and, and I just want to add in pediatric patients, right? Especially pediatric patients, parents, they look underneath. Obviously, kids are always out and about without shoes. So they think that. You know, the callus is just a callus. It's the other way around. The callus is probably a wart. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the cantharone here. Very little, not a lot. There's no need for a lot. It's got a nice close up there. And then we're just gonna pop a little bit just like that. Not a lot, very little, right? Why little? 
Why little? Because we know it's not a war. And we just want to basically melt that central core. Now I want everyone to see the reaction. It's a quick reaction. I would change its color now. You see that? Now it's white. It's a great case. Why is it a great case? Another indication that we use Beetlejuice for. Not only for warts. IPKs. Intractable porokeratosis slash callus slash seeded corn. Like always, www.jawspodiatry.com, Dr. Instagram, Dr. Toe Jam, Jaws Podiatry Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. Like always, have a wonderful day.